Hey everyone, episode number two with one of my students. Let's welcome Jerry to the show. How you doing, buddy? Hey, very good, Michael. Thank Thanks you for, for having me. Oh, absolutely. Thank you for episode number one, talking about a family compound and 401k loans and all of that good stuff. That's always fun. But now we're going to talk about a flip. You posted in our private Facebook group uh, a flip. You sent some pictures. So why don't you share the story of how you found it? And then we'll go through the process and kind of look at what happened uh, at the end. Yeah. So um, when I moved out here from California, you know, I didn't know anybody. I didn't know any realtors. I didn't know anything. And, and uh, you know, knew that in order to be able to, to do what my plan was, which was to flip, um, possibly do some wholesaling and to take that money and put it into long-term rentals mm -hmm. um, to build my portfolio. I knew I needed to get some, get to know some people. So my, um, my stepdaughter, um, when we were talking one day, she's like, Oh yeah, I know, I know a friend here's, you know, here he is, give him a call. And so um, on one of the trips out to do while I was working on the remodel on one of the rentals, um, I took him out for coffee and just talked about it, talked with him and just kind of said, you know, Hey, here's, here's kind of what we can, what I can do. I brought him over to the remodel that I was done just as it was being finished. So, you know, he can kind of see the work quality of work that I, mm -hmm. um, that I was doing on it. And, and so over the, over that, it's probably been about a year now, we've just built a relationship and we go to coffee every Tuesday morning at mm -hmm. one of the local coffee shops and, and um, so um, I have a self-managed 401k. So when I left, when I left the company, I moved it into a company called American IRA, which allows mm -hmm. you to self-manage your 401k. Yep. Um, because I didn't want, I didn't want to lose any of it to taxes, but sure. I needed, I actually needed it as capital to do some of the deals. Yeah, absolutely. It's very um, common. Yeah. So it's, 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 just to be um, clear, it's a self-directed IRA. It's not a self-directed 401k. No, it's a self-directed 401k. Ah, interesting. I've never heard of that. All right, cool. So um, American IRA is the company that it is through. Okay. Um, but they're the custodian of it. Right. So everything that happens has to go through them. They literally have to sign off on it. Yeah, you can't touch um, it. And, yep. and say, okay, yeah, it's good. I never see the money. And in this particular one, because it's, it's through the 401k, I can't do any of the work. Ah, oh, that's true. Yeah. So okay. I can, I can only um, basically look from afar and, and watch my money be spent. <laughs> oh, look, there goes some money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. But, um, but the, but the partner that I'm with is a local realtor. Sure. Um, he actually owns a large commercial building downtown, which okay. they took from, so Lynchburg, Virginia is the town that um, the flip is in. Okay. I live in Madison. I live in Madison Heights. And um, one of the old buildings, a lot of the buildings down here were a company called Craddock Shoe. And they mm. were just a shoe manufacturer. Okay. Well, he bought one of their commercial buildings and turned it into multiple Airbnb. Oh, nice. Um, property. So I think he has, he has either three or four, he has three and he lives, he and his family live in the fourth or there's, there's four and he lives in the fifth. I'm not sure exactly okay. which, but so he's got experience in the, in the rehab. So I feel very comfortable with him basically managing it and, and mm -hmm. keeping all that. So, so what'd you um, buy it for? What, what, what did you, what'd you buy it for? Uh, 36 total all in 36,000. <laughs> and it's a house. It's a house. It's a, it's a three bedroom, uh, three bedroom, two bath, three 30 story. Well, three, and pretty much grand. everything out 36 grand. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It, it's kind of a funny story. We, the, the sellers, they're, they're two brothers. They were asking 45. Mm. And so, um, being the money guy, I was there and, and I just looked at him and said, uh, 45 is not going to happen. I'm, right. I'm more at 30 for it. Right. And they immediately came down to 37 and I came up to 32 and nah, no, we can't do that. Finally got them to 35, but I wouldn't go above 34. Like 34 was my top. Okay. And I told them, I took a book out of Richard Rawlings, um, fast and loud. I told them I'd flip them for it. Ah. So got a quarter out, flipped for a thousand dollars. 
I won and we got it for 34 grand plus closing costs. Wow. Very cool. Okay. All right. So you're looking at, I'm guessing it's in, again, since you're re remodeling it, it was in, was it livable or how bad was it? No, it, it was, well, the brothers were in the process of doing a remodel that turned it into one of their rentals. Okay but nowhere near the quality that we are comfortable renting it or sure. flipping it for. So basically we're gonna take everything that they started doing and tear it all out. Okay, so it's a full gut. It would be it. a C on it's my a, our spreadsheet. Absolutely, and I, and I actually, I have taken the spreadsheets and gone ABC, but I've also put plus and minuses in those okay. ABCs. So this so is a, a C minus? <laughs> this is a C minus. Yeah. Okay. It's a full gut. It'll, okay. it'll go down to the studs. Um, there's actually some foundation issues with it. So um, just about everything out here has basements. Okay. Um, and this has a, this has a basement, but it's built on a hillside. And oh. there's some issues. There's some issues with one corner of the house. So like we literally one so are we talking like just restabilizing, like you got to jack it up, right? Or, or I have no idea what happens um, in Virginia. So we're we're having an engineer come in because we're oh, going to flip geez. it. We need to make sure that it's that it's right. Sure. Um, we're having an engineer come in, take a look at it, and tell us what we need to do. But we'll probably have to put the corner that's in question up on up on jacks. Yep. Pull the existing supports out. Okay um remove and um replace the existing footings and slab yeah that'd be and guess. then and then put back in the supports for that corner of the house yeah and then close in that corner of the house yeah that's what i was thinking when, when i heard the story I, I have no idea what that costs in virginia but my mind's like that's got to be 10 grand it's probably it's probably going to be that at the top end believe it or not you know some things are pretty reasonable um the partner that i have actually has a house that he's doing right now that the, uh -huh. the the entire front of the house has um collapsed like the oh. footings weren't poured pour deep you know it was oh, just geez. basically on a slab and the dirt everything underneath that slab has eroded poured out yeah. eroded and gone and you know, when, when I looked at it, he's like, oh yeah, this is going to cost me X. And I was like, wow, it was, it was really reasonable compared to okay. what I expected it. But yeah. I'm also from California. So <laughs> you might as well, yeah. you might as well 2X to 3X everything in California. For sure. Okay. For sure. So, um, All right. so, it's, so it's probably 10, 10 at our top end on yeah. that corner and everything that needs to be done there. So uh, how, how many square feet? I'm just going to take a wild guess at what your make ready might be. How, it's three, two, but three, two, um, three stories. It's three, two, and it's, uh, let's call it 1,200 square feet. All right. So full gut meaning new, two new bathrooms, new kitchen, new flooring, new, win new windows? Yep, new windows. New roof? Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully right. we'll just be able to repair what needs to be done to it. So a little patchwork. Uh, let me take a guess. Yeah. Virginia. Hmm. You going to do any yard work or any of that? Just, just the house? Like fencing? We'll do or... some yard work. We'll do, uh, we may do some fencing. We may just do, just uh, clean it up. Anything with the parking? And, re re pouring pavement or cement or for parking? No, won't be, okay. won't be any new parking. The parking that'll be there um, will probably just be, if anything, maybe some railroad ties and some backfill in to make it, you know, something, but nothing okay. to any major expense. New mechanicals, new heating, cooling, all that. Um, we're hoping that the heating cooling is, is okay, but okay. we may have to, but if so, that'll be something above our, our original. All right. So I'm just trying, I'm going to get, oh, dude, I don't know. I'm going to take a wild guess. 60 grand. You're, you're pretty close. We're, we're at 50 to 55 is uh, what we're, what we're planning. Very cool. So you'll be, so your plan all in, you're at a hundred roughly. All in, we want to be under a hundred is okay. our, is our plan. Okay. So 55 puts us at, you know, 90, 90 and change. Math, 55, 90 and change. So yeah. if we went to 60, we're still at, if we go to 60, we're still at 96 grand. Okay. So we're, right. we're still under a hundred. So then what's the, I guess what I'll call the after repair value. What do you hope to, to sell this for? 
So ARV is going to be in the 155 to 165 range. Okay. So there's a 2-1 <laughs> directly across the street from us, like across the street, one door down, mm -hmm. that sold at 141.9. And oh, it yeah. was, it yeah. was like this, it was a full, it was a full rehab, um, in it. So we're, we're hoping to get an extra 20 to 25 out for the extra two bedrooms and the extra bath. Oh, I think you'll, again, I don't know Virginia, right. I'm just guessing. I think you'll get more than that. Um, what's the timeline? Like, when do you think you'll finish? Uh, 120 to 180 days. It's going to take before we can even really do anything, it's going to take us 30 to 45 days just for the engineering. Yeah. And then, you know, unlike California, pulling permits here is relatively simple. So that's, <laughs> that's going to be, you know, I remember doing permits in California where, yeah, forget it, you take the permits, you bring them in, you, you drop them off and wait yeah. for six weeks. Yeah, it's nuts. All right. So you're, so, uh, okay. So you're, you're basic. Actually, you're looking to come out right around in the summer, which I got to imagine yeah. Virginia is a good time, right? I got to imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. That's so what we want. my guess is, again, we can have this will be recorded so we can go back and look. I bet you end up selling this thing for like 175. That's my guess, man. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that's that'd be guess. awesome if we did. Yeah. All right. Cause yeah, I think what's going to happen is I think inventory, I think, I think we're going to have a very good year. I think people are going to come out. People are going to want to upgrade. We're going to still have the move to the suburbs. Um, I think appreciation, I don't know Virginia's appreciation, but I'm assuming it's like most of the country's double digits. Uh, I think people are going to pay for quality. They're going to pay for new. I think 155 is low. Yeah. So cool. I, I like it. Any questions about this deal? I like what you have. I, I think um, a comment to just what you did having um, so the, your course was a, a Christmas gift for my wife. So she bought it for me. That was, that was what I wanted oh, that's awesome. uh, for my Christmas present from her. So she bought me for that. And <laughs> Christmas day, I started into it, started looking at the market and everything like that. And one thing that I really noticed, um, and by the way, just do the work part of your course paid for the cost of the course. I mean, <laughs> that's you, awesome. Now, now having been through the course and, and I'm almost done, I'm, I'm not quite, but I'm still, I'm still working on it, Yeah, man, just, and having been in this market, you know, I thought I, I thought I would understand, wow, what I learned from doing the work was amazing. That's great. Houses that are dirt cheap, but in need of work don't sell <laughs> as fast. Yeah. As, as houses that are turnkey, even at the top of the market. Yeah. So the top of the market for what they are, boom, they're gone. Yeah. You know, some, some of them less than a week. And that's why I and think, so, I think that continues this year. Again, I could be wrong. I think that continues that the people are paying yeah. for turnkey, no headache, got to move now stuff. So that's uh, pretty, yeah. pretty awesome. Very cool. Well, so, thank you, no, Jerry. So we'll, pretty, we'll get, pretty excited about we'll that. We'll get into episode three where we will talk about the course here in just a minute. Thanks for your time. Okay. Sounds good. Yep.